working with Heskey and Owen, he had a chance to see first-hand one potential strike force. Keegan said before kick-off that his main objective was to watch Nick Barnby. He had the first real chance on goal, but did little to impress. It's been a difficult season with injuries for Michael Owen, but he looks to be coming back to his best, although he couldn't make the most of his early chance. The first half presented more problems than it did solutions for Keegan. Emil Heskey injured his back after landing awkwardly. Anxious moments for the England boss. Heskey didn't emerge after half-time. He was replaced by Robbie Fowler, who's just on his way back from a long injury layoff. Goal-scoring chances were in short supply, and Owen came desperately close to getting the breakthrough. Gerrard with the faintest of touches to push it wide. It was two Welsh internationals who almost found the opening for Everton. Mark Hughes was on side, but not on target. And then Mark Pembridge forced Vesterveld into a good save. Patrick Berger then produced one of his long-range efforts, but Gerrard just kept it out. And it was Berger again who carved out another chance just before the end. Hegem should have buried it. There was drama right to the end when Vesterveld hit a free kick against a retreating Don Hutchison. The ball bounced into the empty net. But referee Graham Pohl didn't let the goal stand, despite Everton's protests. He'd already blown the final whistle. Richard Johnson, Sky News.